And it looks as though, Kathy, it may come down, they'll take the better of the two balls, it may come down to how well the Americans do on the uneven parallel bars to decide this whole thing tonight. But at the moment, the Americans are on the vault, and Amy Scher, another of Caroli's students, is up. This is a good event for the Americans. They all have strong vaults. Yurchenko with a full oh. twist and a stuck landing. That's what it's going to come down to. They've got to stick these landings because they cannot afford to give away a tenth or two tenths on landings. Now remember, if she likes the second one better, she can take that, one of the two. This is actually an advantage to stick your first ball because if you come back and even just do an, an equal ball and still stick the landing, chances are the score tends to go up a little bit. Nice height, nice open position in the air, and of course a good landing. Awaiting her second ball. Amy is out of Cincinnati, of course, trains in Houston, as we said, and should get along with Bella just fine because she's very fond of animals and has a lot of her own pets. If you saw Bella's ranch down there feeding a deer, goats getting his eggs from his hens, and this is what he loves. Gymnastics and his team is in contention to upset the Soviet Union. Nine, eight, two, five on the first for Amy. Amy is a very intense competitor. She's a great kid. If you start talking to her, she breaks into a big smile. Very, very friendly. But when she is on the floor, she is tough and she concentrates to the fullest extent of her ability. And it really shows in her performance. To improve on this vault. Better on the horse. It was actually a better vault. Of course, there was a hop on the landing, but she got better position on the horse on this second vault and was able to push a little bit harder. How do the judges reconcile themselves to that? Do they go for the better position on the vault or do they go for the landing? It's hard to say. It, it will probably balance itself out. We'll see if she gets any more height on the vault. It was almost equal to the other one. So I would guess that the other one will score a little bit better. The vault goes so quickly the judges don't have what we have instant replay and slow motion we can look at it over and over again to see the deductions and see what is good about the ball but she knows she already has a 987 rather 9825 in the bank as she waits the second there there's something Bella Caroli does all the time if you watch gymnastics he's a constant pacer trying to look at the scores trying to keep his young women settled down here comes the score 98 seven so it is better they thought it was a little bit better I thought the vault was better it just all depends on what the judges because they sit at a different angle they're down below the level of the floor Betty Okino surprisingly good performer Another your chinko with a full twist a little step on the landing of course that's what she will try and correct on her second vault it's a very nice ball in the air. Good twist, good position. You'll see she's right on top of the horse, right where she wants to be. She might want to try and get a little bit more rotation off the horse and into the twist. She kind of twists a little bit early here. She had that 9-9 nine nine on the balance beam. You'll see several of the gymnasts do this ball. When Kim Zemesco comes up, you'll see she opens up out of the twist and flares, makes the landing a little bit easier to stick. Now, these are the standings, remember, after the second rotation. 9-8-0 oh for Betty on her first ball, and here's her second. Oh. Almost. A step forward. Again, almost the same ball this time. She was trying to stick. She was making the correction. She had over-rotated the first one a little bit and stepped back, so she tried for the Good stick job. and had to step forward. Now, as we see, the 9837 by Amy on her first, and Betty had a 980 on her first. Remember, the American women have to average 9887 to tie the USSR after three rotations. One thing you have to say about this American team, they're fairly inexperienced in international competition, and they're doing a heck of a job here, particularly Betty Okino, Amy Shear, going up first and second on every event. It's a tough position to start your team off. It's very a lot of pressure. 
They have to try and set the pace and set that base score as high as possible so that the others can build on it. At the moment, Betty's waiting her second score, 9-8-0 on the first. The follow will be Sandy Woolsey, and Kim Zemesko will be the anchor. Sandy is a Desert Devils, her club out of Tempe, Arizona. Not a Karoli product. Now Betty, a Karoli product, awaits the score, as do we. Come down to those uneven parallel bars. The Americans are doing extremely well. And in the final rotation, the Americans will be on the unevens, and the Soviets who will go last will be on the ball. When Bella was afraid that because of Kim's injury that she might give away a tenth or two because of a little bit of pain in her okay. wrist, he honestly thought Betty would step in there and really take up some of the slack. And be one of the leaders of this team. Well, this is an inordinately job. long time here, Kathy, for a second ball. It's hard to say exactly what the judges are conferring about. The reason it is well, sometimes she, quite lengthy, there is a problem with language down there. Well, There's she's back up like she's going to take yet another ball. I have no idea. No, this will be her second vault. What happened on the first vault, we'll have to wait and try to get from the floor. Well, there was a long time. She was seated, as you saw, and now she's been told she's got to go again. The only thing I can think may have happened if she had gone before the green light went on or if one of the judges inadvertently put the green light on and she went ahead and vaulted and none of the judges were watching, but this is all just guessing from our point of view. That's her number 302. <laughs> Bella looking. And Betty waiting. Those are some of our American judges. What kind of pressure does that put on? Does that mean anything at all to Betty, the fact that she's just standing there this length of time, or does this just go with the territory? It's some pressure for her, obviously, but she does have a score in the bank <laughs> which is 980 that was walking across to the judges she went before the green light and she, right. gets not that other she got a zero now. she had two yeah. bolts okay what has happened and it's what I was afraid of uh, and this is inexperience with a, a new competitor in international competition you must wait till the green light goes on to perform your vault if you don't it's a zero so I don't know what they're going to do with it. Well, Bella's walking back up to Betty now with the explanation. Maybe we'll be able to hear. No, no. That first was good enough. All right. Okay. That's it. The first vault was good enough. The 980 goes into the bank. It's really sad to see this, and I'll tell you why. The United States lost a bronze medal in Seoul due to a technicality and a rule. And whether the rules, you can say it's a stupid rule or it's not, but it is a rule, and you have to know them, you have to be aware of them, you have okay. to inform the gymnasts of the rule. Oh, now we go back to Sandy Woolsey of the Desert Devils in Tempe, Arizona, and her first ball. This is something that was always enforced to us, do not go before the game. Woolsey and Zemesco will have to do very well if the United States is to stay even with the Soviet Union or fall to second. Sandy's very capable with this vault. However, her back must have been hurting her throughout the competition. Watching her in the workouts yesterday and in the warm-up today, she just doesn't look as sharp as I've seen her look, say, at the trials or at the World Championships. And, of course, the recent American Cup. She was much cleaner, much sharper there. They still have Betty Okino's number competitor's number on the scoreboard for the vault. Now, what is going on now? I'm not quite sure, Kathy. But well, the red light is on, so Sandy knows better. She's not going to go, and she's not going to go until they change the well, number. They've, well, they've just put up the zero on the second vault for Betty Okino. That's what they're waiting for. Of course, a hush from the audience. And because there's been no explanation yet to the audience here. And there won't be until they go home and watch the taped telecast, and they'll find out. But it's just a rule that all the competitors down on the floor know. 
Pressure on Sandy Wolsey. You can hear her colleague saying, come on, Sandy. Also performed a Yuchenko with a full twist. I've seen Sandy do that vault better, so I know she can improve on that. She was a little bit short on the horse, meaning too close to the board side of the horse. Makes it a little bit harder to get the proper push off. So if she can get up on top of the horse. Land it. Stay forward and don't let yourself move. That counts now. We've got to have a score here. Let's go now. Storm Eden knows the story here. You cannot give away the deduction right here on the landing. It's the last thing the judges see. Here's what I was talking about. She's a little short on the horse. It makes her almost gain her back toward the horse. And you heard what her coach Stormy said. We need a score here. The Americans desperately want to not only medal, but try to upset the Soviet Union, which is indeed a larger order. Nine, six, seven, five for Sandy on her first. Needs to do much better. In order to try and beat the Soviet Union, you need nine nines. I've seen Sandy score that on this ball. Good in the air. A little bit better on the landing. A slight step right there, but definitely a better ball. While we're Not waiting for that score for Kim Zemesko, let's go Good quickly job. to Hannah. I'm here with Karen Wisen, the uh, technical director here of gymnastics. Karen, can you clarify for us again the zero score of Betty Aquino on the vault? Yes, yeah, she went before the red light was off. She must only begin vaulting when the green light goes on. She went during the red light, and the rules say that that is a zero. And she did have a 9-8 on her first vault, so that will stand? That will stand. So all she misses is a chance to improve upon that? Yes, yeah, she misses a chance to improve upon her 9-8. Thanks, Karen. Again, Betty Aquino, a lack of international experience. It was probably a little bit evident on that mistake. Back to Jim. Thank you, Hannah. And our Kathy Johnson had that in the bank also as we wait for Sandy Woolsey's second mark. The American team hoping it's better than 9 6 7 5. And here comes the score. It's 9 7 6 2. And that'll leave it Kim, strictly up to Kim Zemeskel to kind of edge it up a little bit. Kim has been well with the bursitis and the tendonitis. She has been quite something to see. Kim is dynamite on this event. She's very capable of a big score here. She does a beautiful position at the end of the full twist. She flares open. Right here. Opens the arms up. Oh, a big step on the landing. She usually sticks that ball. Fortunately, this is the team competition, competition 1B rule, so the gymnast can perform the same vault again. Good extension. Best of the two vaults counts. And hold that. Calm, because that's got to be a vault, okay? Okay, calm, go back slow, and come strong again. Now let's see. Don't forget, press your toes down, too. Good position in the air, beautiful flare out. Hike down too much. Got her feet way too far underneath her and had to take that step backwards. As you listen to Bella give her the final comments going into her second vault, this is when Bella is at his best. He can motivate these kids, get them pumped for competition. And I promise you it's why Mary Lou stuck her vault in 1984 because I've never seen either. Mary Lou stick get a vault before. Out. And when she needed to, she did. 9875, but Bella and Kim want better than that. Fortunately, with a pretty good score, 9.875 on that first vault, she set herself up for a 9.9 plus if she sticks the ball. Can't wait for the all around tomorrow night. It's a team competition, and let's watch Kim. Yeah. And, oh, oh slight hop. It looked like she had the stick. It actually probably will score a little bit better. A hop is always better than a major step. Big crowd here tonight watching Kim Zemeskel and teammates try to challenge the USSR. It will be easier to see from this position. Yeah, lands a little bit too far forward. But it's good to see a gymnast make the proper correction. She had piked down too much on the first one. 
she tried to lay it out and go for the stick and just had to hop forward. Nine, nine, one, two. Imzamesco does do better. Soviet Union, though, is now in the lead with, with one rotation to go. 88.848 to 88.735. Back to Larry King.